So what I want to go in this video is show you that uh, which is bigger. Uh, it's usually easy to do something when you have um, even versus even, so one quarter versus three eighths, but it gets a lot tougher to draw these things in circles if you've got one quarter versus one third or three eighths versus two sixths. So if we're going to draw one quarter, we'll draw our circle here. And this is something most kids can do. They'll just draw a circle and you'll get a quarter of it. And you want to know if 3 8 is bigger. Well, most kids have eaten a pizza. And they'll draw the circle. And they'll do their quarters. And then they'll split their quarters again. And we can see that 3 8 is bigger than 1 quarter. No problem. Where we come into problems is this. We do our 1 quarter again. Split it up like that, no problem. But how do we compare it to one third? And it's like, well, how do I draw equal parts? And the way to do that is to make an upside down Y or a peace sign, where you take a line, go to the middle, then go like that and like that. And now you can easily see that one third is bigger than one quarter. Another thing we kind of run into is where we have three eighths, again our pizza, we split and split, and one, two, three, and two sixths. Well, that's a little bit tougher to draw because what we're saying is okay. Well, they'll draw like the quarters and then split the quarters. So I'll show you how they do it, how you usually see it, where they'll split and then they'll do this. And then now we don't have equal parts. So what we really want to do is use our peace sign again, like this, and split them again. Split it once, twice, and three times. And now when you draw your two six, you'll have a more equal representation. And you can see that three eighths is a little bit bigger than two six. And it's really hard to see because when you're talking about decimals, this is actually 0.375, and this is 0.333. And those numbers are pretty close together, but we can still see that 3 8 is bigger than 0.333. Okay, so another problem we run into is with quarters and sixes or thirds and things like that. So you're going to get a word problem or something like that and say, you know, who goes the furthest? And they'll say something like, you know, person A is at the school and needs to get to the library. Person B is also at the school and needs to get to the library. However, person A is one quarter of the way there and person B is three eighths of the way there. Who's closest? Well, the way to draw quarters is to first divide this in half and then divide it in half again. The mistake with eighths is to try to draw them from the left to the right. What you want to do is draw and divide them in half, divide them in half again, and then divide in half again. It's a lot easier to approximate the distance between two than it is to try to get the eighths right from left to right. So you can fill in your one quarter, you can fill in your one, two, three eighths, and you can see that the 3 eighths is a little bit further. We also get in trouble here when we're trying to compare something like 3 eighths to 2 sixths. So the first thing we do is we make sure that these boxes are right about the same there. So you've got somebody at the school, they're going to the library, at the school, going to the library, 
And instead of trying to get our eighths and our six by going from left to right, for the eighths, we divide it in the middle, then divide in the middle again, and divide in the middle one, two, three, four. Okay. And then for the six, we're going to actually do about a third, about a third, and this is a little bit tougher to approximate, but then we divide them again and again and again. So you get a lot better eighths and a lot better sixes if you do it that way. This way when we do one, two, three eighths and one, two sixes, we see that three eighths is just a little bit further than this. And we know this mathematically to be true, 0.375 is further than 0.333. But that very tiny difference is only going to show up if your eighths and your sixths are pretty well established like this. It's not going to come out right if you try to do it from the left to right. So again, dividing, I think, is a much easier way to do this.